PGD or pre-implantation genetic diagnosis and pre-implantation genetic screening, um, intimidating phrases, but really what it is is the ability to ask the embryo what it has and then to act upon that. Uh, really a fascinating and dynamic technique, and when we think about it, you know, it first started looking at single gene disorders. Um, for instance, cystic fibrosis or spinal muscular atrophy. These are diseases that, that wreak havoc on families and, and kill children. Now these diseases don't need to happen. And so what happens in pre-implantation genetic diagnosis are patients who have, for instance, are carriers for diseases uh, who come together can undergo in vitro fertilization and make an embryo. And then we can take some cells from that embryo and ask it, will, you know, will this child have the disease or will it be a carrier? So then it's a process where we can actually select an embryo that, I, that will be free from the disease and even not be a carrier and transfer those embryos into the mother and they can have a, a child free of disease. It's a marked difference because what the technology or what we have afforded to us now is for a couple to, to conceive a child and then for that woman who feels pregnant and sees that, that baby within her and that heartbeat uh, to be tested. And if that child has cystic fibrosis, you're now saying to the family, you know, do you keep this child? You know, you have those feelings already and you know you're pregnant or, you know, do you select to, to abort the pregnancy? And what an incredibly hard decision to make. PGD allows us to make those decisions on embryos and not on babies. How this technology has evolved for PGD is single gene disorder and, and the data is really clear and it, and it works beautifully because quite often our patients don't have infertility. They just happen to be people who carry these genes that can lead to this disease. So they do incredibly well. We also can do pre-implantation genetic screening, which is a little bit different from PGD. With PGD, we're looking for, it quite often, a single gene. With pre-implantation genetic screening techniques, we can ask about every single gene. It's called comparative genomic hybridization, or CGH, also another mouthful. And what it allows us to do is take a cell or a group of cells from the developing embryo and then return that embryo back to the incubator. And then to ask, tell me about every single chromosome that's there. Is it one copy or two copies? Is it potentially going to make a baby? Or is it potentially going to make a miscarriage? And that allows us to select the embryo and then transfer them back to the uterus. It also allows us uh, to treat people who have issues like recurrent pregnancy loss, women who've lost multiple, multiple pregnancies, but don't have a reason why. It allows us to look at all of those chromosomes. It also allows us to do uh, aspects like sex selection or family balancing, where couples who have had maybe two or three of, of one child would like to have a, a child of the other sex. Uh, so all these uh, different techniques are, you know, are, are within our reach with pre genetic diagnosis and screening.